So it is, it, um, it affected me. But we, with her, I am able to, to learn and discover what I teach people to learn and discover with dogs. Hey, this is Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where you really get to know your favorite celebrities on an intimate level because, you know, I was a therapist. So today you're going to get to know Caesar Milan. He opens up about his personal life, marriage, divorce, how he became a U.S. citizen, and so much more. There's a lot ahead. If you want to tap that like button, amazing, and drop a comment below about what you love about Caesar. When you were little and you were in Mexico, you were like, I want to be like the most famous dog trainer. I want to be on TV. I want to go to Hollywood. And I have to say, like, it just has a major impact on a lot of people. Mm. And I want to thank you for that. And I think mm. it's really, I just wanted you to know how, thank you. how many people you've moved. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, everybody has dreams, right? Everybody yeah. has dreams. I think that, I think the dreams are, are fuel when your faith, your passion and your hard work uh, is, is utilized because you can't just dream without the movement, right? And so right. that you just, you just saying, I, I, I want to turn on the highest level of faith. I want to turn on the highest level of passion and I'm gonna work super hard, right? And that's what it takes. It's not just to dream about it, but just to make it real. Right, you took those steps and they were hard steps. I mean, all the times that you tried to cross the border. Yeah. Unreal. You could have just given up, but you didn't. You were like, okay, I'm just going to keep trying and trying and keep doing it. And you were like, going to do it. Yeah. And you kept going. So it's like that yeah. persistence, right? The steps, the action and not yeah. giving up key. Yeah. So, so you know what I tell my kids, what I tell my, cause I have a 25 and 21 and I, I, I want to make sure that they live to the fullest. You know what I mean? It's no need to be an American citizen and not live to the fullest. Okay, it's just, it's a privilege, it's a blessing, it's, it's an opportunity to say, I am born in a place where possibilities are endless. You know, so for, for me, it's like, I just wanna make sure that, that you have this feeling of live or die, but you have to live. You know, so it's, that, it's at that level. Yeah, yeah. It's at that, so it's, it's at that level. How do you do that? Well, you take care of yourself, you take care of animals, you take care of others, and you teach good. So do you That's feel like you're you still doing it? Like, do you feel like you have that same desire yeah. to like do all the things that you did back then now? I'm about to change the world again with this new show. I'm about, I'm, I'm about to reveal uh, uh, the simplicity behind being happy with a dog, you know? Because I'm gonna, my goal is to remove the, the people think that we have to train the dog. That's, that's, our, that's unnecessary, not, not even put it, put it on it yet. I want you to think, connect communication relationship. And I want you to do that with your humans. Connection, communication relationship. Don't try to train them, try to connect with them try to con communicate and establish a relationship of trust, respect, and love. Once you have that, then train it. If kids go to school and they, and they trust, respect, and love home and vice versa, and they do the same thing to their teacher and their, and, and their peers, they're all gonna learn. Because in the animal world, they all feel the same way. So if in the animal world, they teach you math, guess what? All the elephants will learn math. All of them, they will all graduate at the same time. <laughs> so for me, that's gonna change humanity, especially right now with COVID and, and the unemployment and, and all, and all and this, this surface of racism, right? So you're living like a human, practice a hateful behavior. This doesn't, this, no animal will ever practice racism. None, they don't dislike the lion because it has a mane. They don't just like the, uh, the zebra because it has stripes. That's yeah, not, no, no, that's no. not, that doesn't happen, right? But in the animal world, if you look different, they can practice what we call racism. Well, in this world of racism, unemployment and COVID, we need 
we need the simple, natural, profound lifestyle. So I'm, I'm about to change the world. Well, good. I hope you do. And if anybody can, it's you. So when is the when is the show? So you're starting to film. You said you start. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited for you. So how is that going to work out with all of the like the precautions for COVID? Well, it's, it's outdoors. It's at the ranch. It's naturally social distance. It, 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 social distance. I want people to learn this thing. Social distance in the animal world is normal. When, when, a, when a cat and a horse meet for the first time, they don't do intimate thing. They do distance because they need to make sure, do I trust you at a distance? Do you respect me at a distance? Can we be then get closer and practice affection? Right. But the first thing is trust, respect. Trust, respect is what we're calling social distance. So when dog people, uh, uh, you know, did this behavior, hey! now you can because the COVID doesn't let you and so right now dogs are actually oh. it's the <laughs> best time for dogs <laughs> it is the best time their owners are also home all the time or more right I mean how right. many I think more people are bringing their dogs out at least I mean I walk my dog for a super long walk pretty much every day but once we were kind of trapped at home we would also take her out in the evening for like a second walk and like you know there's Dogs are living the life now. It's like, you know, I mean, there's a sacrifice, but at least that's one of the upsides, I feel like, for dogs. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that today, this morning, I said, I, um, I want to do a walk challenge. I told my team, let's, let's create a walk challenge. This is two kinds of walk. You can walk one hour away from home and then come back, and you know, that would be uh, two hours. Or you can ask uh, a family member to drop you off two hours away from home and find your way back. That one is going to be super fun. Oh, that's fun. Yes, because it's, it, it's like you, you, you enter into this uh, going back home. That's the goal, you know? And so your everything about you goes into being creative, saving energy, because they have to drop you away. You can use your GPS if you want to. Right, so that's perfect time to use technology to guide you back home. If you do that, if you do that route for three, four days, you don't need the GPS on the on the number four day. Your dog will bring you back. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. So cool. That's yes. how they train service dogs. Okay. So yeah, so so if you do that, you actually are challenging your dog at a level where the dog says, oh "My God, how fun it was to get lost." <laughs> And we, we came back together, you know, we survived. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry and I want to rest. And so then you gave him food, water, resting, home. That's like that, that to yeah. a dog is, is like a good birthday party. So I have to tell you, you seem to be very upbeat and feeling good and in good spirits. And I know that's yeah. your, you know, your personality and your outlook, like you've talked about before, but like, have you been feeling good? Like, are you feeling better because you're about to start filming again? Like, how have you been handling the whole, I don't know, everything that's been going on recently? Like well, emotionally, listen, how a, have you helped? I'm a high him? level energy human being. Yeah. So uh, I am. I remember, by the way, your mother, right? Had a hard time with all of your energy, right? When you yes, were little, yes. high energy. That's what they put me in judo. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so because I understand that part of me. So this is the part that you have to understand about yourself. So, so, so this in the in the human world, you have three three kinds of humans. You have low level energy humans, medium level, high level. So it's not what is happening in front of you that is going to bother you. It's what do you do with your energy? So once you recognize that you're high level energy, you just have to make sure that you that you keep yourself busy. Right. So, so you've been busy. Walk, walks are walks are free. <laughs> Exercise is literally free. I mean, you can go to the gym if you want to, or you can just walk with a pack of dogs. So, you know, so it's free. You can go to a shelter and be a dog walker. And, and, and that would be greatly appreciated. You will feel really good, body, mind, heart. Everything is good. So the, what I do every single day, I just make sure I drain my energy, my energy from my body, my energy from my mind, my energy from my heart. So when I go to sleep, it doesn't affect me. I need to recover. You know what I mean? Remember, dogs or animals do that every day. So 
if it's COVID or not COVID. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just a lifestyle. So I, I, I practice, I grew up in a farm. So I grew up waking up at five in the morning. I grew up, you know, being at service. I grew up being, you know, part of the pack. I grew up making sure that I, that I, that I do something physically, mentally, and, and emotionally. You know what I mean? Not for money. It's just for the better, for the benefit of the pack. So I have that habit. Yeah. How's you your family I mean? doing now? Really good. Really, yeah. Really. I'm, it's a blessing. You know, it's, I tell my kids every day, it's like, this and this is a blessing. I always remind them that I come from Mexico. I come from poverty. I, it's not, it's not that I'm trying to feel bad about it. No, no, no. I just, I just want you to know that you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful because this is a, a big opportunity that, that, uh, that we have, you know, just to be alive. Your grandparents are good. Don't forget to think about that. Don't just play Xbox and PlayStation, you know, like be grateful. Practice that. Make sure that you plug into that world and say thank you to God or the universe, whatever you want to believe. I don't just say thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think Don't that really has grand. an impact. Yeah, yeah. I really think gratitude has a big impact. Now, last yeah. time we talked, you told me all about Jahida. Are you still together? Is that? Yes. Yes. Well, you know, Jahida has been the uh, portal of me learning about uh, a woman, right? So so one thing, I was actually, I was talking to her before she left to the gym. They say, I, I say, you know, in Mexico, I learned how to be completely transparent and completely free and in a way naked and metaphor with animals. But when, when I went into me as a man with a woman, I learned, I learned um, what, what Mexicans teach men about women is a culture, you know? So, so it, is, it, um, it affected me, but we, with her, I am able to, to learn and discover what I teach people to learn and discover with dogs. So what do you mean, what mean? were you bringing, what were you bringing that you, about it from your background? Insecurity, that was insecurity, um, frustration of um, communication, not understanding woman. It's a different species. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got, you girls function different and you got, your source is, 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 is emotions first. My source is instincts first as a male. And I was told to do it. You see, so if I don't see that when I'm little, if I don't see my grandfather, my dad, my country, my fellow men, when, I was, yeah. when I'm little, sure. uh, be sensitive, be thoughtful, be gentle, be kind, be loving, all this incredible energy. Listen, in the, in the dog world, you have to start with calmness. With a woman, you have to start with a whole bunch of more. Not only the calmness, but the gentle, the, the, the thoughtfulness, you know, this, the, the sense of all these things yeah. that makes a lot of sense because, because you guys are sensitive, uh, intuitive. Yeah, um, we are. You are willing to give life. Do you know what I mean? So that, that's just uh, God-like, God-like behavior. You know, so if you I like don't, that. yeah, I like yeah, that, that description. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. Mother Earth. Uh -huh. So, so, uh, so that automatically is going to now, now uh, make you feel respected as a female, because mankind has taught other men not to be at that level of sensitivity and respect. Yeah, it's you like know? the message, it's like the underlying message, you're right, like, uh, sure, that everybody's learning, the role models and, and the yeah. message of society. So that's interesting. So how did you, yeah. so you ran into some little stumbling blocks and then she taught you what happened? No, I mean, this is obviously it's the love that I have for this particular woman that made me uh, become surrendered. So no man on earth will ever, will ever learn if he doesn't achieve come surrender. You, you won't be able to, to be sensitive, to detect, to feel, uh, to do not even think about saying, how do you feel? You should know how she feels. You know what I mean? So is that possible? Yes, because I can do it with an emu. I can do it with a horse. I can do it with a kangaroo. I can do it with a pack of dogs. I know how everybody feels. I don't ask animals how they feel. I just know how they feel. 
see it. So I have that capability. So I can tell mankind, guys, we have it. We just have to be nurtured. Our parents need to nurture that sensitivity. We have it. You're born with it. You as a male, eventually you learn that you have a feminine side. What that means is you have a sensitivity. You see it? It has this data. Doesn't mean you're a female. It's just a, a power inside of, like a female can have a male side, right? So you see that she can be masculine or she can be feminine. Obviously a female is expected to be feminine. But can a female be a leader? Leader means direction protection. So that's where you got to get put a little bit more of the masculine energy without losing your feminine aura. Yeah, you so yeah. she taught you a lot, it sounds like, because you weren't really thinking about this before, trigger it. right? She triggered it. She, she triggered yeah. it. And yes. then you decided, though, that you were like, you weren't just, so she triggered it and you were like, I need to learn more about this. So that's very interesting. Yes, yes because I love her. You can only change if you love something. i tell you one thing. My clients, I said, would you change for your husband? And my client would say, 80% of my clients are women, 80%. So I said, would you, would you change for your husband? Like you would do more exercise and you would change your positivity and no. What about for your kids? No. What about for your dog? Yes. <laughs> Why? Why what? a female, why a female human will say yes to a dog? because the dog represents unconditional love. So my point to this is if you love someone or if you love yourself, you will change. You will, you will. It will trigger it for you to discover and reconnect and go back to your true self. Because none of what, what, I'm, what I'm saying, she taught me, it just triggered the opening. And it happened naturally. Gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna teach you instincts. I'm just gonna trigger. Got it. I'm not gonna treat, I'm not gonna teach you spirituality. I'm just gonna open it. I'm right. not gonna teach you how to love. I'm just gonna open it to the full potential. That's so, it. I don't so but okay. So you said 80% of your clients are women, right? So who are your clients? Like what are the clients for? For bringing like dogs to you to help figure out what the issue is with the dog? Like, is that what you're talking about when you talk about clients? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, my remember, business. Right. Is, my business is educating humans, right? Yeah. So, right. so what kind? What do you have? Males, females? What's the ratio, right? So it's like ratings. Who follows you? So who follows me? Eighty percent of the people that follow me are women. Oh, so it makes that, sense. Then? Oh, it's us. Very, You're very saying. simple. Very, very simple. Women work in relationship. Yeah. Right away. That's Keep it. The right away. Right away. That's everything. A man will say, "I can't stop working." And a woman will stop working to work in a relationship. Relationship is more important than work. And for a man, more, more, a lot of times work is more important than relationship. You see it? So, so obviously the person who is pack oriented for nature, she's going to, I got to work on the relationship. It's my family. So, so what if I go to work if my family is not doing well? So what? That, that, that would be a, a immediate thinking of, right. a, of a female. Immediate. Right. No, I, th I agree with that. And I can feel that on myself too. I love my work. I'm obsessed with my work. I love it. I love what I do, but right. I still have it all prioritized that if something, if there's an issue with the family, that is going to take priority. No question. Like got to fix that. Got to figure that out. Yep. yep, yep. Makes so sense. That, that's right. You're the stability. You're, you are a hen right away. You know what I mean? You're a hen before you are a lion. Right. Step one. Right. Step so two. Did your, did your relationship improve after you started to figure these things out, like look into them and figure them out? So you, I mean, did you see it actually get better? Yeah, because I am understanding the moments I, I created this connection. All right. Can we talk about your career for a minute? Like your whole trajectory of your career? Like, because we talked about it before, uh, like when you started out and how you made it to like your beginnings and now you mm -hmm. have a new show and now you have Halo. So it's like, you're always doing things, right? You always yeah. seem to have projects going on. So I feel like that's just who you are and just yes. what you're driven to do, right? Yes. 
So well, what are yeah. so what are some of the like what are some of the ups and downs? Because life has ups and downs, and there are challenges. Like what are some of the hard parts of that the, you've the ups and downs? The ups and downs is going to be your lack of awareness is going to is going to make it down, you know, because this is my first life that I experienced as a season Milan, you know, so I never done this before. So everything that I'm doing is new. Even the people that I do business with is new. You know, and not everybody live by the moral code. So you're going to have humans who are not going to live in the honesty, integrity, loyalty, but you are. That's going to put you down. You know what I mean? You're gonna, there's going to be time, moments in your life that you are not living by the moral code. And you need to realize that. You know what I mean? And that hurts a lot because that's not what you, especially now for me, my intention is never to create pain or hurt or discomfort. If I do it, it's an unconscious moment. Yeah. So that, 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 that it, personally, uh, as a human being, I don't like, I, that's the one I like the least. Of course, I don't want humans who are dishonest and like they do hurt me either. You know what I mean? But, but I, can, I can brush them away quicker than I can brush my failures. Right, right, right. So what are some it's, of your failures that you feel? Well, the, the, what I'm, you know, I'm 51, so I'm not so hard on myself anymore. Um, um, first of all, it's, it's not uh, something that I chose, you know, first, first, you know, first of all, so when I, when I make a mistake or when something happens, and there is, it's not a choice, you know, so you got to, yeah, because you can, when people recognize their mistakes, they're, they're, we have a tendency to try to create punishment or, 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 or create justice or, or like make sure we wash it out in some shape or form, right? Because that's what we've been told. You know, you did wrong, you have to pay for the wrong, but like not if it's an unconscious thing, you right. know, it's like, yeah, it's like, I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to inherit this energy or this behavior or this habit. That was not my choice. So if you had me when I was a kid, I would never choose the, the trade with negativity. I would be the kid that we all as a kid would choose the positivity. You know, it's two trade, one has poison, the other one doesn't. You choose with the other one don't poison. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we have to be very careful on, on, on that. I just something because I, I'm going through it and, and sometimes you get stuck. You get stuck with the, uh, why would I did that? Why would I do that? Um, and, and, and just doesn't, you, you get caught up into this guilt, into this uh, feeling failure, frustrated, angry, um, all of those places that you have learned to go. You know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah. Anger is, is, a, is a behavior that you learn, you didn't born with it. You know, failure is a behavior that you learn, you didn't born with it. Guilt is a behavior that you learn, you didn't born with it. You know, but it has been given to society so it can be manipulated. So, you know what I'm saying? So they're giving you all these things. So, of course, you're going to have bad moments and it's going to be hard to move up. Animals have bad moments, but they don't stay there too long. And that's exactly what I, like, I'm trying to do now that I'm 51. You know, it's it's like, when you wanna... have a bad moment, you try to just feel it and then move on rather than settle into it. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to settle into it. I'm just not going to live there for three days, four days, five days, two weeks, uh -huh. three weeks, a month, two months. So what are some of the things that'll set you off and put you in a bad moment? What are some, like some examples? Well, they're, they're less and less and less because I've been working on it for a while now, you know, it's uh, for actually since I met Jahaira. So That's for, for the past, awesome. for the past 10 years, it's like, you know, uh, uh, People write to me all the time on in, in Instagram or uh, YouTube and say, you know, my life has changed since I started watching the show. You know, my relationship with my dog has changed. I follow trust, respect, love, exercise, discipline, affection. So Jahaira has done that for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, but again, it's, it's because it's so much love, right? And so much comes open-minded that I can be influenced by that. Yeah, yeah. You know so, I mean? so yeah, she has definitely, but you have, I mean, she was like the motivation and she yeah. was like the, the trigger, the stimulus, but then you did yes. the work 
to figure it out. So that's that's important. And so it, it's clear that, right. So you have, have, you just learned a lot and you're using it. Yeah. But when you look back, what are some, do you have any regrets still? Like, do you have any life regrets that you look back and you're like, uh, if only I had, or I wish I did, or I wish I didn't, what would it be? Oof. Every once in a while, it does, it does, it does come. It's one, only one of all of them. Um, that is definitely a, like, I would have loved to assess and evaluate better. Just one. It's just one that, uh, that could have be prevented if I would have used my instincts in uh, assessment and evaluation, you know, like evaluating a person. Oh, uh, as person. energy first, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, because that 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 could be that could be bad, you know what I mean. That, so you you can enter into a relationship with someone that is not compatible. That is not compatible energetically. It's not compatible. So if you go beyond that, and then you can enter into a place that could be prevented. Are we talking about the cat person, your ex-wife? You told yeah. me she was a cat person and you should have known <laughs> yeah. all along because she was a cat person. Last, you know, but of course, you know, the part where it's having my kids is like, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely right. uh, enjoy that part of, of having two incredible beings to, to share my knowledge and, and, at, and at, at, at the same time also to recognize, you know, the part of me, the, the also taught them what I learned in Mexico, the good and yeah. the bad. So, you know, they're, they're definitely my teachers of recognizing me because you see you and your kids, you know what I mean? And I never made a mistake with a dog, but, but I raised dogs since I was little. Like I know I have experience since I was five years old, three years old for you can't be uh, uh, in charge of a child when you're five. Yeah. And you know, and if you are, it's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> But you can definitely be in charge of a dog or a cat or a, or a or a chicken or a goat. That gives you like confidence. Yeah. Like, yeah. My grandpa would say, "You take care of the goat." I will feel really proud of myself. You know you what, what I mean? I so forgot, I, yeah. I forgot to ask you last time. Also, we didn't get to it, but I wanted to know also. So, how did your whole citizenship thing happen? Like, you you're a U.S. citizen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, how that's, did, the, when and how that's did what that came out out of that marriage. <laughs> Oh, okay. So being, you know, I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was in that marriage for sixteen years, and um, and after ten years being married uh, with a American citizen, you can apply. Yeah. But so, oh, got it. Right. I didn't right. marry her. The papers, I promise. Yes, I believe you. I totally believe you. You would never go for that easy <laughs> no, way. No, yeah. No, no way. No, um, no but way. that was another benefit, right? So even even things that maybe would be regrets. Still, there are good things that come out of them. Obviously, your kids, your yeah, I mean, you, you can get you papers a in a different way. I could get papers in a different way. Right. So you know right. I mean? that, that's. I mean, I'm a hardworking. America needs me. So it's it's I, I and you know if I can if I can achieve what I achieve achieving papers, right. it's just a matter of legal legal process. You know what I mean? And and money talks. So you can hire the best lawyers. You just have to work hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, the aqua gamers in a different way. <laughs> it would have been easier. What is right, so- that's, that's right. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't what give is- credit for that. <laughs> so talking about the easy way versus the hard way, what yeah. like what is what's your favorite thing about being, <laughs> and I'm gonna say do this in like quotation marks or like air quotes, like being Caesar Milan, like being who you are as a you know, as an entity of being a known, you know who you are, you, it's such a, you're such a thing. So what's the, what's one of the really big surprising upsides, like the best things about it? And then what's one of the hardest things about it? In part two, he opens up about what it's like to be really famous, what his hopes are, and how he's planning to change the world. You can just tap on this card up here or on the link in the description for part two of my talk with Caesar Milan. I'm Kara. Please subscribe for more intimate talks with your favorite celebrities. Tap that like button and please comment below. Share your thoughts about our talk. I'd really love to know what you're thinking and feeling right now.